Yes. Good morning. Welcome to this edition of It's Motivated Monday. And I just wanted to jump on live because I've had a full morning already. So I'm not sure how to even begin, but I just felt the need to come on. It's Monday. It's October the 26th want to take a pause for the calls um today marks four years that um our bar our barber bryant brian um barry was shot and killed in his um salon in his barbershop slash salon um in pine hills and just kind of bittersweet um definitely was a great barber a great man a great advocate of trying to give back to the community and things of that nature um so on this motivated monday i pray that his wife and kids are um coping as best that they can after all these years again it was in 2016 and so he has a birthday this month as well as he passed away um on today on the 26th four years ago so um, anyways again just having a moment with that but it's motivated Monday I don't know if you prepare on Sundays for Monday or over the weekend for Monday but Mondays are the days that nobody typically likes and I call it motivated Monday because whatever I do productive on Monday is gonna keep me afloat for the rest of the week And so on Sundays, I try to take time and prepare for those different things that are going on or that will be going on for the week. Um, I usually have Monday meetings every Monday at 8 o'clock. And for some reason today, uh, when I arrived at the meeting, it just didn't seem motivated. Like there was no motivation. It was like there was a different spirit happening and so as I got out and went in the building the same spirit was on it I could still sense that same spirit and just to confirm that same spirit when the um when we started the meeting out um it just set the tone to for me knowing um why I felt the way I felt so course the meeting wasn't a good meeting today but you have to take take what you can from that and so because it's motivated Monday I left there I had to drop off something I had a delivery to drop off I had to go mail off some stuff to the post office and then I had to go I'm leaving the eye doctor if you follow me on live I have been waiting for my glasses which were lost in California (laughs) which was a nightmare and I ordered the glasses from the eye doctor on September the 18th I believe I got a new prescription got my prescription updated got my new glasses they're supposed to be back in a couple weeks two weeks I think tops um never received them began to contact them because I hadn't heard anything back from them they in turn gave me a tracking number and when I tracked the package it was in California we live in Florida red flag and so I immediately called them back and I said are you sure you gave me the right tracking number because these glasses went from Orlando to California and the lady was like what no let me you know verify and make sure that that's the correct tracking number and lo and behold to our surprise it was so ordered the glasses on September the 18th received the glasses on October the 24th I don't know the math of how many weeks that was how many days it was but it was too long only to put the glasses on on Saturday and they're not set right so of course in my plan of things to do I have a couple more things to do that I'm in route to do now but the eye doctor was on my on my um list of things to do I met um, one of the optometrists, oh my goodness, I want to say maybe two years ago, 
I think it was like two years ago. And we just connected from day one. Just like sweet lady, always, um, always smiling. Um, like I always tell people, people who smile a lot or people who have big smiles on their face, they have a story to tell or they have a lot, you know, that's going on that they can tell you stories. And so she's always sweet. And so we were trying to, we thought we would be able to fix the glasses in-house today. So she was working with me to um, try to reset the glasses and get them where they need to be. That didn't happen. So they are going to have to send them off to do whatever they need to do. But in that, as she was putting all the information in to take care of it, we just began to talk. And with so much going on, COVID, coronavirus, you guys see my mask. Um, with coronavirus and all of that stuff going on, elections, voting, um, racism, just all of the stuff that's going on in America. One thing that we couldn't agree on from when, since we've been friends, since we've met, that why is it so hard to get along with people? Why is it so hard to want better for other people in your life? Why is it so hard to want to promote um, healthy living, healthy lifestyle, healthy, healthy relationships with those who you work with, those who you meet on the street? Um, I don't think any, I tell people, I don't think any relationships that we have that you come in contact with are haphazard. So why is it so hard for some people to just get along whether it's at home whether it's at work whether it's at church whether it's wherever you are and it's so easy to get upset and angry and just I don't know um not have self-control I mean we all have a little fire in us but it's not the fire that you have in you it's how you control that fire and so that's all about self-control um I've learned in the last so many years um, that it's a it's a a challenge if you if you don't know how to have self control, but it's a blessing when you do. Um, it allows you to overlook those things, those negative things, those toxic things, and it allows you to regroup and get your mind to a place where you can be positive for not just yourself but other people who you come in contact with whether it's business or personal and so on this motivated monday i want to motivate you to be better and no matter what it is that you do be kind to people be loving be giving it's the season of thanksgiving oh my goodness we are in the last quarter of 2020 and you might think that you have not or if you have not been seen clearly if your vision hasn't been 2020 today on motivational monday on this motivated monday i challenge you to i challenge you to push past what you're going through push past that negativity push past not having enough money push past whatever negative energy that's going on around you push past that if it's toxic push past those things find you a good book motivation positive um what do you call it accountable person partner find you someone who's going to elevate you to the next level who's going to be your biggest support to push you to those limits yeah enjoy your feelings or whatever that you're having but make sure that you are um, incorporating positive everywhere you go don't allow negativity even if it is something negative draw out of it the positive like today just say you just had a bad morning what's the positive in that bad morning you're living you're breathing you're healthy as you may know how even if you're not healthy you're living you're breathing you've li you're, you're here another day um what can motivate you this monday to be better to be whatever it is that you need to be only you know that and so a lot of times we allow people and things and stuff to alter how we feel um 
I'm not gonna put them on blast, but <laughs> anyways, I'm not gonna even say it, but a lot of times people feel like everything in life is we have to go on an emotion. Sometimes we have to set aside those emotional attachments and become unemotional to it to a certain extent. Don't allow everything to work you up or everything to push your button. What motivates you to be better? One, first and foremost. What motivates you to be to help someone else? What motivates you to um, want better for other people? It's nice. It's a great thing to be motivated to want better for you. But what happens when you want it for someone else and you push to the limit for other people to have better? You encourage them. You uplift them. How many people do you know that complain or that just always have something negative to say? How can you replay that? How can you um, not replay it, but how can you, what's the word I'm looking for? How can you rechannel that to positiveness? So on this Motivated Monday, I'm challenging you to motivate yourself first, to be great, to be better, to be amazing, to go after those things that you want. Stop using excuses on why it's not being done or why it hasn't happened in your life. Push forward no matter how hard it takes no matter how long it takes push forward never ever ever one of my sons posted on his instagram today a couple of little facts or a couple of little quotes but he said on his quote at the end never give up keep going through it's not it's not what you're going through it's how you handle the things that you're going through and so with that I'm, I'm asking you to motivate yourself, to be good to yourself and then other people. When people try to come with you, come to you with gossip or toxic things or something that's negative, turn it around into something positive. Oh, I hate my job, but you have a job. And there's so many people out here that don't have a job. Oh, I don't like this person. You're not gonna like everybody. But it's how you choose to deal with that person that's going to take you to the next level. Um, I can't even think of, I, I mean, I try to stay positive 365. One of my models is find the positive no matter what. So I can't even think of a lot of negative things to try to uh, change it around for you. But just know, um, oh, I don't like my car, whatever it is. But you have a car. Some people are walking. Some people can't walk. Some people can't drive. Some people are catching the bus or Ubers or Lyft or whatever it is. Make sure that you're being a motivation for yourself first because it's Motivated Monday. But for other people, what light, what light are you to other people each and every day? How can you, how can you be a positive light? Those are things that you can write down notes. How can I be better for myself? One, and again, we can't help other people until we help ourselves, until we're ambassadors, until we're ambassadors for ourselves, until we are um, making ourselves or we have peace in ourselves. Only can we go out and be ambassadors and help other people. When we soul search ourselves and say, hey, I need to fix all of these things. I have this all together, but I need to fix areas of this, this, and that. Then we can empower ourselves to go and be an ambassador for other people. And that's the blessing of Motivated Monday. How motivated are you to be the best you that you can be each and every day? Um, how motivated are you to say, okay, now I'm being the best me that I know how to be. Now, how can I bring that? excuse me, how can I bring that best me into someone else? Help them to be the best them that they can be. In this life, the Bible talks about, I love it, I quote the scripture all the time to the mister, um, in Ecclesiastes 4 and 9, two are better than one. You can't be Superman, even though he think he is. You can't be Superman, Batman, I think I sent... I, I don't have it in front of me, but I sent a scenario about um, Spider-Man and Batman and just different people 
on TV, husband and wives. Um, I even used Obama and Michelle. But what I what I simply was trying to get the point across was if one person needed another person or had the other person to help them be successful or powerful, what makes you think that you can do it by yourself? The Bible says two are better than one because if one falls, you have a good return for you know you have a good chance that that other person is there to catch you if you're cold you can keep each other warm it, whatever it is that you're doing two is always better than one and i'm not saying you just have to have two people but you start out with two and that gets you way better um a way better um a percentage of <laughs> getting it done and getting it done right versus you trying to do it on your own so again it's motivated. Monday, I'm challenging you to motivate yourself and then motivate other people to be positive, to cut out those toxic relationships, to reach out for help. If one of our families called me last week and she was just in tears. The blessing of her crying and calling and talking to me was just this. She's getting it out of her system, but I can impart in her. I was able to impart in her some 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 nuggets of wisdom cry get it out scream whatever you have to do to make it happen that's what you need to do for you and then move past it um again at the eye doctor one of my things was we talked about caleb caleb passed away seven years ago as a mom that's my best asset. I don't care about businesses, being a wife, a sister, an aunt, a niece, or what all the, all the different things that I've been in life. Um, I believe motherhood is my best asset. I absolutely love being mom. Not just to my children, but to my children's friends, those kids we took in. I absolutely love being mom. And so... Caleb passed away seven years ago. Seven years to you, or it might not seem that long to you, but trust me, as Caleb's mom, if it, it seems like seven years. It seems like forever. It seems like he's been gone forever. And I was sharing with my friend at the eye doctor. Um, I was telling her, I said, I was in his room last night looking for something looking for my grandson and I we have this little thing about surprises surprises and so he's about to embark on something that I'm so excited for and I have I, I, I said I wanted to surprise him with something that he hasn't seen I have a few other things but this one item I wanted to surprise him with that I'm not gonna tell anybody I'm just gonna surprise him with so I was in Caleb's room looking for it and I was like I can't find it. I can't find it. Oh my goodness. And so I finally found it. And then I was like, okay, now it doesn't work. Didn't know that it needed batteries. Everything in life needs batteries, I think. But um, <laughs> sometimes I think we need batteries. But um, so I found it and I began to, you know, get get it together to do what I needed to do to work. And emotions started emotion started and I was just like hmm do I really want to give this away <laughs> it's like now I'm kind of feeling like eh, do I want to get this away do I want to give this away <laughs> um and again having a child is one thing being a mom is another thing. Losing a child is something totally different. Like totally different. Totally different. Totally different. Totally different. So, for me, I'm backing up y'all, so y'all have to give me a minute. So for me, trying to figure out what's what in life after losing a child, for me, trying to figure out how do you, 
how do you go to the next level um in life losing a child it's a daily it's a daily process can i stay in this spot of grief forever i'm probably i probably will be because that's what it is i'm going to grieve in a different way all the time but am i grieving healthy in a healthy way yes I'm, I'm, I'm doing what I need to do for me to grieve. If I need to cry, if I need to um, scream, if I need to go down memory lane, those are things that I have to do to move forward in life. So I have to be that one to motivate myself to not just grieve, but to grieve and move forward and not to stay there and allow it to um, cause anger, to cause bitterness, to cause, to cause um, conflict. Because even with, the, I, you can, it can be something that causes conflict because someone can say the wrong thing. Um, cliche is like I tell my families, people, the, the quick, the first thing people would like to say is, oh, I know what you're going through or, Oh, I, I understand what you're going through. You will never understand how it feels for me as a mom to lose a child. That's just that. From age eight, I knew that I wanted to be a wife and a mother. And so no one will ever understand where I am after losing my son. But you better bet this. I'm motivated to do what I need to do to not just stay where I am, but to grieve, to help other families who are going through this process to, to get to where they need to be if possible, but to raise awareness 365 for kids affected by cancer, for all of those people out in the land and country who are not aware of childhood cancer. And so with that being said, again, it's Motivational Monday. I'm motivated. I'm on live talking to you guys, telling you guys, be motivated to do what's right or what's necessary for you. Be motivated to want to give back and to support other people, other businesses, whatever it is you have going on. Be motivated to love to and support those causes for good, for the, um, those causes that are out trying to make a difference. If you saw us on Saturday, if you saw me on Saturday, if you saw the lives, I posted them on Facebook and Inst I went live on Facebook, but I posted them all on Instagram. And so if you saw our lives, we were out there, one big happy family, supporting another cause, Let's Kick Asthma, making sure that we're doing our part to reach the masses and to be the, the people that we need. The people that, excuse me, I saw somebody walking. <laughs> but be the people that we need to be each and every day to help other people build. How can two walk together unless they agree? That's what partnering with healthy businesses are. That's what having healthy relationships is all about. We don't have to do the same thing. We just have to know that we are motivated to give back to those people. Even like I'm looking at my beautiful nail tech and I chipped one of my nails, so don't be mad. Oh, you can't see it. But yeah, one of my nails is chipped, so I'm gonna be coming to get them cut down. And then grandma has to get her feet done. But anyways, support those people who support you back. Love those people who love you back. Give to those people who can't return the favor. Giving is such a blessing. The Bible talks about give and it shall be given to you. Um, again, I'm always saying don't give grudgingly. If it's your time, if it's your money, if it's your food, if it's whatever it is, if you're giving it grudgingly, keep it. Trust me. Nobody wants you to give them anything that you're going to complain about down the road or talk about, oh, I did this or that. None of that. Be motivated to be better. Um, remember that when you you're motivated to be the best you, you can motivate you can motivate other people, and your blessings when you give will be pressed down, shaken together, 
I'm supposed to be doing it. Press down, wait, press down, <laughs> press down, shaking together, and they'll run over. And you won't even understand how you probably will understand, but maybe you won't. You won't understand how every single month when you look back, it's October the 20th, it's October the 26th. When you look back, um, from January the 1st to October the 26th, you're going to know that it was because of those seeds that you sown, that you're successful, that you're able to do X, Y, and Z, that you can move to the next level in whatever it is that you're doing and be a blessing to so many other people. So just wanted to get, jump, like I said, jump on and on live and say, um, it's motivated Monday, so let's get motivated to be a blessing to all those who we come in contact with. Let's be a blessing to um, those children and families who are affected by childhood cancer. Let's be a blessing to those families who are in need this Thanksgiving season for holiday time is coming up. People who might need food and shelter and all of that stuff. Let's just be thankful period point blank motivate yourself to be a winner motivate yourself to motivate others motivate yourself on this motivated monday to be a giver and to give back to others have a great monday